that's like we make it a church. We got the James Terrell Church coming to Calabasas. Mm -hmm. I'm making it. I use the material light to affect or work the medium of perception. We formed a new religion, no sins as long as there's permission. So many friends that maybe feel a little too judgmental when they go to church. You pray to Kanye or to God <laughs> at this church? There's actually, there's no praying, there's no, no praying. sermon, there's no word, it's just music and it's just a feeling. Oh, but it's I, Christian. 2012, he was already talking about Sunday service. In his song, New God Flow. So here are the lyrics from his song, New God Flow. Shake that body, party that body, come and have a good time with G-O-D. Welcome to Sunday service. And this is the key, folks. Don't miss this lyric. Welcome to Sunday service if you hope to someday serve us. Folks, he's already predicting the year 2019 where he says, hey, come to Sunday service if you hope to someday, like seven years from now or, you know, right, 2019, if you hope to someday serve us. talks a lot about light being his medium, light and perception. And he has had an amazing evolution of being born again and being saved by Christ. And he has now um, made it, you know, people always ask, well, what are you worshiping and what is this? It is a Christian service, like a musical ministry. It is you know, they, they talk about Jesus and God and... Is there a minister sing. there? Sometimes. So if okay. he goes to a different church where he has, they've shown up. started this thing called Sunday Service. It's just this wild partying music where they sing like secular pop songs, but they just substitute in religious lyrics, substitute in about God and Jesus. They're singing Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, Come As You Are by Nirvana, Don't Speak by No Doubt. I guess they're just reaching out to that early 90s, you know, crowd. Yeah, everybody who's our age, you know, everybody who's in their late 30s. So they're doing all these pop songs, and then they're doing all of his old blasphemous filthy evil songs just with the lyrics cleaned up and whatever and this is their sunday services i now have given my life to jesus christ and i work for god the thing is he has claimed to believe in jesus for his entire career every single album he has ever produced has talked about jesus so by him coming out and claiming to be a new convert tells you that he was lying to you that whole time so that is just one more reason to you know look closely at what he is saying and not believe him at face value because he has already proven himself to be a liar and we are called to test the spirits so if you you are just going to believe this guy blindly then you are not following the word of god and you are not testing the spirits and you are not using your spiritual discernment so i really hope that you consider this uh before jumping on this bandwagon here's some lyrics from his new album closed on sunday you're my chick-fil-a closed on sunday you my chick-fil-a you're my number one with the lemonade raise our sons train them in the faith really He's singing praise to Chick-fil-A. Let me, he's just, oh, what's he trying to do? Just suck up to all the little Fox News, Baptist, neocon, Republican, Trump supporting idiots and take their money. That's what this is about. Chick-fil-A, give me a break. I don't think he's ignorant. I don't think he is just being a useful idiot here. I think he knows exactly what he's doing and he is a puppet on strings doing what he's told and he's going to continue to do it for his worldly fame and riches.
And sadly, the people who control Kanye and who control the worldly system and the powers and principalities that are behind them, they know that people are going to follow this guy because all he has to do is say that he's a new believer, he's a born again Christian, and people are going to fall for it because they love these false idols. They love these famous people. They love these, you know, rappers and musicians. And the Bible says that if you preach the true gospel, the world's going to reject you and the world is going to hate you. It doesn't say that you're going to be lifted up into every mainstream media platform and exalted and talked about like Kanye is. And that's another dead giveaway that this is not the true gospel and he is not following the true Jesus. Here's the, okay, back to the worldly article. He's just a dude playing church, and the public is watching for entertainment, not enrichment. Kanye's ministry is really just about Kanye. Sunday service is designed for him. He is both the seeker and the redeemed, both the one who needs saving and the one who will save. It's a church of one with invitation to watch but never truly join. That's a worldly article calling this out for what it is. Well, don't be telling me Mormons got an extra book and Catholics do that. It's simple. Christians, we be making it too hard for people to come and be involved in this. Come and get involved in what? A $225 sweatshirt? Yeah. Come and get involved in what? A $180 pair of sweatpants? Come and get involved in what? Buying your new album? Keep in mind, I'm still reading the Vice.com article. $225 sweatshirts reading Holy Spirit out of a church clothes tent along the way. Here again, Kanye was ironically modeling the most damning parts of scripture. A few people referenced Matthew 21, 12, 13 in response to images of the merch. And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said to them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. 